Okay, so I'm going to start off with another uh, example in numerical calculations. And this one I'm going to create. Here's the situation I'm going to create. I have two uh, balls. They have electric charge on them. And I want to just model and see what happens. So this is a, a different way of doing it. And I'm going to show you how to do this in GlowScript. Okay, I think I'm going to start using GlowScript because I think it's easier for you to install. So here's the situation. I have ball 1 has a charge and ball 2 has a charge and they're at different positions. And so I have I have those. I'll show you the, what, what they're going to be. But the most important thing, I need this vector from ball 1 to ball 2 because the electrostatic force depends on that vector displacement. So I can calculate the vector force on ball 1, 2 on 1. That's what this is called. This is force of 2 pulling on 1 and this is 1 pulling on 2. Of course they have the same magnitudes because it's the same interaction but they're in opposite directions. So how do we calculate that force? Well this is the Coulomb expression for force F2 on 1. This is this one since I have that's the direction of R is this Coulomb constant K charge 1 charge 2 over R squared r hat. So that's r hat. So this would be, if these are both positive, this would be a force pushing that way. That doesn't make sense, does it? If they're both positive, f2 on 1. I'm doing something wrong here. Okay, well the program worked out. So let me just skip onto the program because I, I'm just threw this together real quick. Okay, so here I already wrote up the GlowScript program, but let me show you the different parts. Okay, this first line right here, this just makes the ball. It makes a visual illustration of the ball that you can see. Um, it also allows us to calculate things. So when I call, when I make it a sphere, that's a built-in function in GlowScript, and it has different parameters. One is the position. So I put it at the origin. Position equals vector 0, 0, 0. I give it a radius, and I give it a color. That's it. Ball 2 did the same thing. I put it in a little different position and I gave it a different color. Now right here I have ball 1.q. I, I just defined that. That's the charge of ball 1 and I said it was 2 times 10 to the negative ninth and the other one is negative 2 times 10 to the negative ninth. And then I gave them both the mass too. They're, they're, I want to make them light. Finally I have to give them an initial momentum. So I said Ball 1.p is the momentum of ball 1 to begin with, and it's the mass times 0, vector 0. It's not moving. And this one has some slight motion in the negative y direction. Okay, now I need my constant k. I need my time variables t equals 0 and the time step. Okay, so next I'm going to make a loop. And you could do while they're far apart, while they're, you could do all sorts of things. This line right here says, update the animation no more than a hundred times a second. And that matches up with this, you see, because if I make, this is the rate that it shows it, and this is the rate that it calculates it. And if I have this as 1 over dt, then it's real time, okay. This is the vector uh, to calculate the the vector from ball 1 to ball 2, that's r. So ball 2.pos is the vector location of ball 2 and that's the vector location of ball 1. Now I'm going to calculate the force on 1. It's just like I said K, Q1, Q2. Norm is a built-in function in GlowScript and Python, vPython, that takes the unit vector of R. And if I don't have that in there then I'm not going to get a vector for the force. And mag is magnitude of R. That's a built-in function too. So on the bottom I have magnitude of r squared, that's a scalar. I need this vector up here, unit vector, to make the whole expression a vector. So that's the force on ball 1. The force on ball 2 is just the opposite, because they're, they're the same. You could calculate it out if you wanted to. Okay, now this line, I am updating the momentum. So I'm saying ball 1 momentum is what it was before plus f delta t. And then, and there's only that one force on it, so that is the net force. If you had more than one ball, this would get a little tricky. I'll leave that for you as a homework. But and then do the same thing for ball two. You want to update. You want to do this order: forces, momentum, 
and then update position. This is just like before. Ball1.pos equals ball1.pos. That's the position of the ball plus the momentum times dt divided by the mass. So this is the velocity times dt. And then update time. That's it. Okay, I'm going to run it. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, let's just make it one slightly thing awesomer for no reason. Um, if you go over here, you can't see it. Help. I always forget. Uh, working with 3D objects, it's called attach a trail. So if I attach a trail, just like this right here, I'm going to do that. So attach trail ball one. Attach trail ball two. I don't know why I'm doing this. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this. Okay, come on, that does look cooler. You gotta admit. And you can rotate this scene around, it's in 3D, so. Okay, so that's another uh, example, and I'll give you this program. Uh, that's another example of numerical calculations, in this case with forces and changes in momentum, along with visual stuff. You could add in a graph in here too. Um, do I have time? How long is this recording? You know, I have all the time in the world, right? I do, okay. Uh, F1. Now, if you put if you put the ball declaration first, it will show at the top the animation. If you put the graph declaration at the first, it will show that first. So F1 equals series, and let's just leave it like that. Now down here, I want to plot the um, the momentum, the x momentum of ball one, just for fun. So F1 dot plot. Uh, it's going to be t, and then ball one dot p dot x. Let's run it, and you see the it is increasing in momentum and changing. The cool thing would be to plot this, plot the x momentum of ball two and the total x momentum, and show that they all add up that the momentum is conserved. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so that's graphing you can add see now it does have the animation in there too you see what's at the bottom awesome okay that's it